Oh. Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Hi guys, it's your, I mean, I'm your boyfriend Ben. Look it's my Italian ball. boyfriend Ben, and today we're going to show you how to have a pizza as an Italian. Having the right pizza starts from choosing the right place from where to have a good Naples style pizza. Uh, I'm a senior pizza expert and PhD candidate in pizza loving. Uh, when I was little, I've always been eating pizza. One of my like close relatives, you know, like makes pizza for a living. And and yeah, we have a warm wooden fire oven at home and we, you know, usually use it. So for my whole, you know, like teenage years, child, you know, I was always eating all this around pizza. Rule number one, all the food chains like uh, Pizza Hut, Papa John's or Domino's or any of those huge places are just out of the table. And number two, when you open the places uh, that appear on Uber Eats or on Deliveroo, if they have kind of salami or some toppings that you usually see on American movies. I'm sorry, but this is not really Naples style pizza, so try to avoid this. And also, if you see that it has some weird toppings on top, such as like ketchup or mayo or any of those. Dips. Yeah, avoid Yeah, dips. any types of dips, this is also a big no-no. Check the crust. On, even on photos, you can see if the pizza has a thick, big crust or it's super thin. Usually the super thin one tends to be kind of American or it's just not made in the right oven, as Ben mentioned. Yeah, it tends to be more like of an electric oven that doesn't give that like sort of like fluffiness, you know. Just a couple of places that here in London make great pizza are 50 Calò, also Rosso Pomodoro, also Over, like that. Da Michele, and uh, also if you're kind of a bud on a budget and an okay pizza would be from Franco Manca that it's kind of all around the city. Pizza pilgrims as well. I will have all these places listed in the description down below. How to choose the right pizza for you. Mm -hmm. So to be honest with you, I usually go with uh, Margarita because it's a super classic one and uh, yeah, it's just good as it is. And uh, today I decided to spice things up a little bit. So I'm taking Margarita with uh, mozzarella di bufala. For me, I'm going for a pizza fritta and it's basically like a sort of like fried panzone. It's not as healthy as the classic pizza, but I really like it, you know? And it's with ricotta, pork and like maybe a nouille as well. So like a lot of like cool things. It's really filled up with all the like yummy cool pizzas. Our salsiccia friarelli, I'm also a huge fan of that, which is sausages and friarelli, which are this choose something that's very typical, you know, because those are like best flavors. Yeah, don't add anything crazy to your yeah, pizza, I would say. For example, if it already has like meat or protein, don't try to add something extra to it because you basically ruin the classic traditional pizza. Two, three ingredients, tops, you know, and that's it. You know, that, that's the, yeah. the holy trinity, I would say. And last thing, no crazy dips or also building crust. As you see, our pizza has arrived. And here is the pizza that they got. As you can see, it's very far from being perfect, but that's what makes it beautiful. Basically, there was too much mozzarella, and after that, when they put it super hot into the paper box, this is what happened. And this is mine. It's really yummy. I can't wait to have it. First thing that we usually do to make sure that the pizza is good is to check if it's burned. And this one is slightly burned, Just but much. It's fine. not too much, so it's fine. It's really cool if it has nice bubbles, like this one, you can crack. It means there's a lot of like, you know, yeah. air, which is good. Explain to us about the crust. When you're like standing the pizza, when you're laying the pizza, you need to like push from the in, from the middle, the outside, you know? It like this really bounce, bounce. This is a good crust because, as you see, bouncy. This one actually already came into four slices, mm -hmm. and this is how usually you would have it. If not, you can cut it with Wait, what are those? Oh wow, scissors! You can start eating it with a fork and a knife, like many Italians do, but also others, hands. like Ben, uh, eat it with their hands. I, mean, I cut this one with a fork and a knife, but like that, that other kind of piece is better to you know, mess with hands. And here is a slice. How do you fold it? So after you have your pizza into four, then you kind of flip it and you make this fold 
otherwise it's kind of hard to have it like that it's quite floppy <laughs> and once you have made this fold you're ready to enjoy it yum 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 ah so yummy so happy about it i have my last slice in here What do you usually drink with the pizza? To be honest, water. at the moment we have water. Usually adults, you know, they have a lot of beer, but like, you know, kids, you know, usually have Coke, but like, we don't like, we're not fans of beer, so we, eat water, we drink water. I hope you enjoyed this video and you also learned something new. We are going to enjoy our last slice of pizza. And don't forget to subscribe, it means really the world to me. Love you all! Bye! Bye. And go have some pizza!